So in this video, I'm going to show how to pull the script for our lectures. Are you excited? And also how to format it too, like very easily as well. So first off, it needs to be in Chrome. So I already had everything opened. So I'm gonna pull that up now and make my way to our lecture that I'm interested in. Yeah, it does take time to like load. You see what I mean? So, yeah, we gotta start from 3.1.1. So, the first step is to go to these three dots right here. And you go to more tools. And for more tools thing, that thing can popping up. Okay, I just hope it doesn't hinder anything. So for more tools, you go to developer tools, because that's where you're gonna be pulling the script from. So then this little shucker shows up right here. It's just like data from well I'm guessing it's just data of what you're doing if you say like if I go over things it kind of highlight my screen but what we're interested in is like network and then from network you make sure that all is selected and then for some people you need to start recording i don't even know what that means but it's just like the way it works you're gonna press ctr r if yours haven't started recording yet so you see once i do ctr r like everything's starting showing up and all of this stuff and just showing like data of like everything I'm doing on this part of the screen but what we're interested in is the script the subtitle so how are we gonna pull that up I'll show you in a minute oh yeah I have to wait until like everything starts showing up so those are my scripts the SRTs these are my scripts so you see I have one two three four five so like those are like for five videos so you can see I have one that's a YouTube video so I got those in count two three four five so I have like script for all these lectures so anything that's like dot SRT that's going to be your script so you can click on it and open it here um i'm not sure if you can open it but um i prefer opening it in another window so i would right click and then i say open in no tab right there so that's the first one i'm gonna go open everything because i just don't want to come back there again open in no tab second one open in no tab third one fourth one and that's the fifth one so see it when I click on it it kind of doesn't show the data for some reason so that's why I open it in the new tab so this is like the first one so I'm gonna press control a or C T R L A to select everything I can go ahead and press CTRL-C, but for the sake of showing how to do this, I'm just going to like right click and click on copy. So I'm going to open Excel right here. Oh my God, it's right here. So no window. So I'm going to paste here. I'm just going to do CTRL-V. Control V as in Victor. Okay. All right. Um, so how do I format this? Because like this, I can't use this. Like, who's going to try to like read every single thing or copy and paste every single thing to paste it in Word? Nobody. So I'm going to show you how to get the script formatted in the right way. So the way I do it, first of all, I click 
control F, which is my finding mode. So I'm going to try to find every single row that has this symbol right here. Because like if you put zero, zero, if you put a number, it's kind of hard to pinpoint that. So I look at the row and see what's unique to them. And this is that thing right here, that arrow thing. So it's two dash, one, two. And the arrowhead or the more than sign. So you can click find all or you can just use the short shortcut and then you you click um you press A L T plus I from your thing. So this is everything that has uh, the little symbol in it. So I'm gonna select everything by pressing control A. Control A as an apple. So if you see here, you select all the row with all of them, you know, symbol. So I'm just going to press delete. Yeah, my computer is slow. Oh my God, it's gone. So if I go back up, you can see here all my rows with like, you know, the symbol is gone. So what's left is the now, how do I get rid of them numbers in spaces? So the first thing is to click on F5 and you see this window pop up here. If you have a Windows, like for example, on my computer, I have to click on the function button, like the FN button to make sure the function is on first before I click on F5 because F5 has um, several command on my uh, computer. so. If I do not select the FN button, if I press F5, it's just gonna decrease the volume. Like for example here, I dislike the FN button or function button. So if you say F5, decrease the volume of my computer. But then if I press the FN button, F5 will just show this little window right here. And then, so I'll click on special. I'm gonna, for the sake of, you know, teaching, how this is done you can go shortcut like anything that is underlined in a window or your computer if you press alt or alt plus the letter it should select that thing but for the sake of um you know showing you how to do this i'm just going to go ahead and click that so you go ahead and click and then you can see here so things so what is constant in my thing it's numbers so it's not text because the texts are different. If you see in the columns, like the texts are different from each other, but the numbers are not. So numbers are the one that is constant. Yeah, cause like, uh, let's see if I can show you before I do this. Let's go back. Because if you go back here, the numbers are constant. You have 266, 267, 268 from one to like wherever it ends. So go back here, special. I want to select all the constant stuff. If you don't deselect those things, it's not going to show anything. So only numbers are constant on here. I'm going to be like, okay. So see, it's like all of my numbers. And I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the arrows. I delete it. And the numbers are gone. Now, so just random blank spaces in between them. It doesn't take that long, I promise. It's just because I'm showing you guys. So... I just want to show you how it's done so that's why it's taking so long but usually i do it under two minutes so i'm gonna press f5 again and i go ahead go on special and i'm gonna select them blanks because you see all of those blank spaces in between my text and i don't want that and i say okay so it's like all of them blanks and i delete it Yeah, my computer is slow, but if you have a faster computer, it should be better. So now you have something more or less you could work with in order to make this more doable. So you go ahead, control A or select all. Um, or you just could select them manually, but control A is easier. And then you're going to do control C to copy all of them stuff. And we're going to go to Word. Oh man, okay. So now you are in Word. So when you like in Word, I usually like 
I have no Roman spot in size 12. I don't know, Calibri, I'm sorry. So, I mean, my word looks weird because I'm recording. So we're going to right click and keep, um, select the option that says keep text only. Oh, okay, I know why it's weird. It's just the learning tools is on. I'm going to go ahead and close learning tool. Okay, perfect. All right, we're going to start over. So in this case, to paste everything, you don't want to use Control V because it's not going to paste it in the format that we need. So we're going to go ahead and, you know, do keep text only. So in order for you to view what I'm going to do uh, with this, um, I'm going to go ahead and select this option, like make sure all the paragraph things is shown in the text or whenever there's like, uh, I don't know how to say that. Like, you know, when you're typing, you press enter to go to the next line. That's what this is like indicating. It's like a no paragraph. And then uh, the point are indicating like the space in between the thing when you press, you know, your paste bar, whatever. So, um, you're going to go to replace. So what we want to do, we want to replace all of them paragraph stuff with space. Cause in the, in the, um, in the video, like they're trying to say in the patient's medical records that it, um, that it does have a reason for going to the seven day or whatever. So you don't want to have paragraphs in between your sentences. So you want your sentences to come together. So that's why we're going to be replacing this paragraph sign with a space. So the way we do that, so you're going to find whatever you need to replace and you want to put whatever you want to replace it with. So in order to find the paragraph sign, you're going to go to more and then you go to special and then you like paragraph mark. And this is this doesn't need to be visible for you to do that. I just make it visible so that you can see what I'm saying. And then you're like, I'm gonna replace it with space. Notice, like I just press my space bar and this little thing right here move because I wanna replace all my paragraph bar with like one space. If you replace it with nothing, it's just gonna make all your words fuse together. <laughs> it's gonna be like need two, two would just, you know, be one word with need and we don't want that we want space so and then we're gonna click on replace all and that's it we're done now if you wanna you know watch the lectures and then you know and then separate them into paragraphs based on whatever slide the person speak on you can go ahead and do that i mean i'm talking specifically for my um classmates who use these you know these lectures but this can be applied to any videos as well if you want to you know pull up the script and format it in a very um you know rapid manner and doesn't have to go through the tedious you know eliminating every single space every single number or whatever i was doing that at first but then i found a really nice way to actually do this so i wanted to share this with you guys and yeah this is it and there you can click on that again and all of them low points just becomes space they just become space <laughs> whatever so i just hope this helped you study because you know, I find it very tedious trying to pause the video to take notes. So this kind of helped me knowing that, okay, my notes are there. Um, but if the if the video doesn't have subtitles, so it's good to like follow and follow along with the professor and take notes. But if it has a subtitle, this will help you pull out the notes, knowing that you don't have to pause it every single time to take notes. Well, I hope this helped. Um, thank you for watching. And ages from now, I'll be posting another video. <laughs> the pharmacy school don't give me time to do anything these days. All right. Hope this helped, guys.